asked for it. So here it is, our Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey's featured drill. Hello, I'm Jared Wayman, the East Regional Goalie Mentor for the Warren Stereo Program, part of the United States National Team Development Program. I'm also the goalie coach at Trinity College, as well as the owner of the Connecticut Crease located here at Champion Skating Center in Cromwell, Connecticut. One of the drills we'll talk about today is for a small area when the coach and the goalie have limited room. We'll call this a push-stop recovery drill. This is a good drill for the goalie to practice both his or her skating, their ability to get centered and stop on a puck, as well as to practice recovering for a second shot. To start the push-stop recovery drill, the goalie will start with his back on the goal line, right against the net. He will push with his back foot. In this instance, the goalie will push, the back foot will be his left foot, the right foot will lead him towards the top of the crease. Let's have the goalie line up on the neutral zone dot. He will then stop with the lead foot, in this instance will be his right foot. He will get square, which means both toes will be pointing towards the neutral zone face-off dot. So now the goalie will push with his left foot and stop with the right foot, lined up on the dot, stop. Notice Tyler is in a good stance. His feet are slightly, slightly outside his shoulders. His hands are in front of his body and at an equal height. Common mistakes would be Tyler pinching his knees in. Unlock, please. Or Tyler putting his glove up too high or down too low. Notice Tyler's rotation of his glove is at a three o'clock position in front of his body so he can see both his glove and blocker. Now Tyler will go into a butterfly. Notice his hands remain in front of him. His pants and five hole are sealed up. His stick is in front of his body as well. To rotate to the coach, Tyler will look first, bring his hands around towards the puck, and now he will get up with the proper foot, which is his right foot in this drill. Now Tyler's recovered to the coach, and I'll now shoot, and Tyler will get up with his proper foot again, the proper foot being the foot which will push him towards his rebound. It's very important that the goalies follow their rebound to create good habits that will be used in a game. Notice as Tyler is on the post, his glove, side foot, his heel is inside the post, his pad wraps around the post, his stick is in a position where it'll block a pass out shot, and his glove seals the hole near his knee and post. A couple key things to remember during this drill is to make sure that the goalie gets fully set at the top of the crease and he does not rush the butterfly. Make sure the goalie gets all the way to the ice and stays square to the point in which he's lined up on, in this case, the neutral zone dot. It's okay to let the goalie make sure he finds the puck, rotates his hands, meaning pointing his hands towards the puck, and then get up. We don't want the goalie to rush through this, get up with the wrong foot, and especially to get up without looking where he or she would like to go. This is a drill that should be done from both sides. You would do five to 10 repetitions on each side. So it would just be the same, but in reverse on the other side, pushing out and then butterflying and coming back across. The back foot, which was the left foot that pushed you out, will now be the right foot. And once the goalie butterflies, he or she will get up with his, his or her left foot to T-push across to the coach for the shot. Thanks for watching Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey's featured drill and a big thank you going out to West Coast Sports Center of Brookfield, Connecticut for gearing me up.